Well, good morning boys and girls. Isn't this a lovely day? Plenty of frost everywhere. Plenty of fog. You look up, it's lovely blue sky. <laughs> oh, it's nasty. And burns out. I heard some sirens yesterday, I wondered what they were. Hmm. Anyway, the saga of the throttle cable was quite interesting. As a lot of you know, my throttle cable on the right hand side snapped. So I sent off one, uh, Motorworks, very good, very good supply of Motorworks, they sort of stick stuff straight out. Next day, arrived, tinkering, tank off, seat off, put it on, it's odd. Suddenly realised that it's an inch shorter than the ones that are on here. The, the correct length, the ones that are on here obviously weren't a BMW um, specific item. Let's see if I can get it so I'm not actually eating my microphone. That would be a benefit. So, I'd send away for another one. That arrived yesterday. Not, yeah, the day before was the first one, yesterday was the second one. Got it fitted. Uh, postman didn't come till four o'clock in the evening. <sighs> Good old. GPO, so I'm sitting there at, well standing there, sorry, not sitting, standing there at six o'clock with a torch doing my throttle cables, and they're fine, they work. So, I'm back on the road. Happy birthday, Alan. Uh, birthday today. Oh, I, feel the, I feel the road. Um, it's probably gritted a couple of days ago, and you just feel little bits of black ice. Still just a little bit slippery, um, 0.7 degrees down in this dip, because we're in a little valley. Uh, not cold enough for polar bear challenge by 0.7 of a degree, but there you go. Um, cyclists. Cyclists are moaning about car drivers and other road users. And they're starting to meet the problems that we meet, being carved up forced over, you know, legs rubbed by bumpers, all this crap, and they're moaning. I have sympathy with them because I do ride a bike, but then again I don't have sympathy with them because they'll go through red lights, they'll ride up on the pavement. Um, I've even seen them going the wrong way around a roundabout. They don't have to obey the law of the road. So the average motorist is actually getting pretty damn fed up of the average cyclist. Yeah, there are good cyclists who obey the law, and there are um, the average cyclist. But there's a lot of bad cyclists, especially in cities like London or Cambridge, where I go. And I think if they want to share our roads, I think they should be forced pay road tax and be registered and take a riding test. For too long you've been able to walk in a shop, buy a push bike, go straight out onto a dual carriageway or into the middle of town and do what the hell you want. And the roads are so crowded now and the roads are overcrowded. Even as a motorcyclist, I'm noticing that cyclists are taking more and more risks, doing more and more stupid things. They get more and more aggressive because they think the world owes them a living. Oh, I'm on a bike, you should be blocking my way, blah, blah. You see them on these videos. So, who's in agreement? Come on, chaps, let's start a lobby to have push bikes registered so you can find the owner when they're doing something stupid. And have a riding test and a license and pay insurance. So that when you do hit a car mirror or you do scratch a car, they can report you and they can claim compensation. 
I know if I knock somebody's mirror off, they'll claim on my insurance. Why should bikes get away with being rude and going down between traffic and knocking mirrors off? I'm sorry, I don't see the point in them getting away with that. It's pretty nippy today. I'm trying to find a position where I'm not chewing my mic. Oh, I hate this helmet, it's too tight. Where the modular front comes down, it's just a bit too tight on the old um, face. So the mic is actually wedged between the modular and my lip. Very uncomfortable. I'm sorry about the sniffing, but it's bloody cold. Oh, I can't see a bloody thing. It's just that time of the year, isn't it? done that but there you go. Where's the fun if you can't? Uh... Ah, traffic lights, roadworks. Mental note, don't come home this way. The other piss tank of course is if we rode on pavements to get around red lights, you think of what we'd get nicked and fine. Minimum three points, possibly six. I can think of two offences there. And a few hundred pounds. And our insurance would go up. Get a cyclist, two or three of them, come to a set of lights, they just plough up on the pavement and turn around. The other thing about winter that I don't like um, is the road salt. Oh, bloody silly Mike. It's the road salt. Now I know it's necessary, but oh God, it makes a mess, doesn't it? Oh, it makes a mess of your boots, your trousers, your bike. Yeah, this is an old bike, I don't mind it getting a little bit more ratty. Dear oh dear. Oh dear. How old? 